Hi there friends, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Um, before we get into today's video, I would just like to say a huge thank you to everyone who has watched, shared, um, commented on and personally reached out to me to give me feedback on my last video. Um, I kind of mentioned this when I was posting it but it did take a lot for me to post it, I was really nervous um, and I do think the nerves came across in the video. Um, but yeah, I was really nervous to put myself out there. Um, and just the fact that so many people have reached out to me, um, a lot of messages and stuff, just seeing how um, brave people think I am for doing it, um, as well as lots of really good feedback um, and lots of really good kind of constructive things to take forward. So again, thank you so much. Um, so in the last video, I mentioned the next video would be an AM skincare routine, just to kind of tick off those two boxes for the most important skincare. Um, so basically today, I am going to just go a walk into town. Uh, there's a couple of things I need to do and I'm always so bad for taking my car everywhere. So today I'm going to go for a walk, try and get my steps up. Um, the weather's not been too kind to us over the last couple of days. Massive storm at three, four, five o'clock this morning. So hoping the rain stays off for long enough. But um, before I go out on my walk, I thought what I would do is I would film my AM skincare routine so that I can upload it later on for everyone to watch. So in the last video, I showed you how I cleanse my skin. So I brought my little basin through with my washcloth and I showed you how I cleanse my skin. So to save having to do that again today, <laughs> I've already cleansed my skin with my St. Ives cleansing stick. Um, as per the last video, I linked everything in the box below the video, in the description box, all the products. Um, and I will do that again today. And I'm also going to... Well, I've got like a website and everything coming because you know me, you know, you know, if you're going to do it, do it right. So I will be putting blog posts up with the products used um, and basically just like a small kind of blog post link to each video just so that all the information that you need is there. So, cleanse my skin already, just like I did in the last video. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to go straight in. So AM skincare routine is probably a little bit more um, easy going and a little bit easier to manage than the evening skincare routine. Less products to use um, and the theme for today will be a little bit of SPF because as I said I'm going to go walk um, and we always need to protect our skin um, especially skin on our face as it's so sensitive and considering the fact that I'm going to be going out uh, with no makeup on um, it's really important that I do have the SPF on. The foundation that I use every day that does have an SPF in it um, so that's a slight barrier um, for the skin but it is really important to be using SPF. I really do like to use moisturisers that incorporate SPF. So we're going to go in and as I said we have already cleansed so we're just going to use the micellar cleansing water from Garnier and we're just going to sweep that all over the face just to make sure that we have gotten all of our impurities out when we've cleansed this morning. So I do have a couple of new additions to my face. A couple of little clusters of spots here which are slightly annoying. I tried putting tea tree on them last night in the hope that it would maybe encourage them to leave. Not so far, but we will see what happens. So, I'm just going to sweep across the face, across the forehead, and down. And just catching the neck there as well. So and today we are going straight into our toner. So I mentioned on the last video that I like to use the Revolution Skincare Glycolic Acid Toner but I also like to alternate my toners. So this morning we're going to use the Soothing Facial Toner by Simple. I just find this is really good for, my skin is really sensitive um, and as I mentioned before it does air towards the dry side. So just in case of not overwhelming my skin. This one is alcohol free um, and it's vegan and cruelty free and everything like that. So it is really good for sensitive skin um, and it's just a way of making sure my skin is nice and clean in case you're using a toner on it but there's no risk of aggravating it or using too many kind of aesthetic products on it. So just like with our glycolic toner, just going to sweep that across the face.
and once again with the toner we have avoided the eye area. So that is the skin cleansed and toned. So my next step will be to put a serum on. So, um, my last video, I mentioned how much I do love the Ordinary Serum, the Buffet Serum. Today we're going to use a different serum. Um, this is a Vitamin C Serum from Superjug. So this is the Invigorating Skin Booster Vitamin C Serum. So it's really good for helping your skin glow. Sorry, Marie's trying to get in. Um, this is really good for helping your skin glow. Um, and it's just a really nice invigorating skin booster, as it says. It's going to really help um, put a really nice base layer down for putting our moisturiser on. So, I'm just going to take a couple of drops. This smells absolutely amazing. It's just like oranges. Mm. making sure to rub that all in the skin take a wee bit more and again just like with the toner avoiding the eye area so it just soaks in so quickly just leaves a nice easy layer for the moisturiser to adhere to don't forget the neck so the next step is moisturiser. So again, I'm using a different moisturiser for my daytime skincare. This is the Simple Triple Protect Moisturiser and it has SPF 30 and it also provides UVA and UVB blue light and pollution protection. And it also says it is an antioxidant with vitamins E, C and ginger root. So this is part of their Protect and Glow range, um, which we've kind of not long brought out. So yeah. I really really like using this um, moisturizer doesn't kind of sting my skin hasn't really affected my skin and um, all it's done is provided a really nice moisturizer it's not greasy it's not gloopy um, and I don't find um, any kind of negatives in the fact that it has SPF in it so as I said SPF 30 which is good just to kind of protect her skin Okay, so that is our moisturiser applied, um, and as I said, that does have the SPF 30 in it. I'm just going to try and rub that in a bit. It does absorb super quickly, so I wouldn't worry about it kind of leaving any lasting residue. So the next step we're going to do, it's like a bit of a simple makeup, ah, simple makeup routine this morning. So um, as, as I mentioned in the last video as well, I do like to alternate my eye creams as well. So I also like to use a simple soothing eye balm, that's this one here. So with this, I'm just going to apply it to the eyes, very similar to the Clinique All About Eyes that I used the other night. This is basically just going to hydrate the eye area. It's just going to make sure that it doesn't get dry, it doesn't get neglected. Um, so yeah, just applying this the same way we did the other one last week on our last video. Excellent. So that is the eye makeup, no, the eye cream all applied. So as I said, I'm going to go out. So just a couple of final steps that I like to do. This is obviously completely optional um, and obviously this is just my preference. So I just like to brush my brows. My brows are in desperate need of Amy, my eyebrow gal. I do like to get my eyebrows threaded and tinted because I find that they always have a great shape when I do that. And it just makes the colour that little bit more enhanced. I'm really lucky that I do have dark eyebrows anyway, um, but I do like them to just be a little bit more. So, final step in this little skincare routine, we're just going to pop on a little bit of lip balm. So this is Carmex, we all know Carmex. 
grape brand. This again has SPF in it, so this is SPF 15, so we're just going to put a little bit on the lips. Can't have the lips going dry. And that's us. So, um, thank you very much for tuning in to my AM skincare routine. Just one final thing, as I mentioned in the last video, I am not professional, I am fully self-taught and all the advice and tips I give in this video are just based on my own experience and things that I have found work for me from watching other YouTubers, other Instagrammers um, and basically just following tips that I've learned along the way. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your support on the last one. I hope you like this one just as much. Once again, if you do have any comments or any feedback, I would love to hear it. And also, if you have any videos that you would really like me to try out, please also let me know. And we appear to have our daily Marie cameo in the video. She's going to be more important than me soon. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. You have a good day. Bye.